Good evening. Welcome to the second session of the conference. My name is Reva Simon, uh, recently retired from Yeshiva University, and I was asked to chair this session. Our first speaker, Yosef Yossi Shitrit, is Professor Emeritus of Linguistics and Socio-Pragmatics at the University of Haifa. His research focuses on the study of Jewish languages and Jewish culture in North Africa in their different aspects, linguistics, socio-discursive, socio-historical, and literary. He has published numerous articles and books in these different fields, and in particular on Judeo-Arabic and Judeo-Berber, Hebrew and Judeo-Arabic poetry, Judeo-Arabic proverbs, Jewish Moroccan traditional wedding, Hebrew and Judeo-Arabic modernization and Haskalah in North African Jewish communities. His latest book in Hebrew has just been published under the title, Our Judeo-Arabic, the Judeo-Arabic Dialects of Morocco, Structures, Uses, and Diversity. Today, he will be speaking on the attempt of Moses Benatar to reform the Jewish organization of Casablanca before uh, World War II. Professor so usually I'm quite used to speak um, by heart in my lectures, but today, because of the translation, I forced myself to write down my lecture and to try to frame the time. I hope I will have enough time to actually present everything I wrote. Since the um, heroine in question, and obviously the um, Madame Helene O'Nelly, Cousins Benatar. She um, overshadowed her husband, but only for one reason that I would like to remind you. My purpose in this lecture is to increase and to bring back such an important grand Jew that everyone who knew him predicted him a glorious future in leadership of Jews of Morocco in the 20th century. Though he did die too early as a result probably of um, an attack of a violent bug that uh, killed him in 10 days. And now, uh, 39, when he was uh, at the age of 39, in 1939, with half of an active athlete. And to present the plan of action he built and not to find solutions of very severe problems of the, of the Jewish committee in Casablanca and the uh, publishing of this program until the end of the Second World War. We all understand that Moses Benatar, <coughs> Nelly's Kazaz Benatar husband, Nelly was a partner of the community activities of her husband from the very beginning of its path and shared his vision to bring improvement of the Jewish existence of dozens of thousands in Casablanca. She overcome the catastrophe of his death while um, perpetuating his community activity through her full engagement to address the matters of the community as a president of the union of the alumni of um, Alliance schools and as an attorney and as a benefactor of the Jewish refugees that immigrated during the first years of the Second World War into Casablanca. An additional role that no one actually mentioned was uh, but in fact, the protection of Jewish communities uh, from um, prosecutions that came before, after the um, Allies arrived, the prosecutions and, and the suffering of the communities all over Morocco, from Milad to Tsef, from Meknes and other areas. There was a shameful attitude towards Jews from time to time, and she was the one um, that was the spokesperson of those communities. She wrote reports for the protectorate in order to protest the um, prosecutions and to grant them uh, compensations. And this is the alumni organization activity. From 1935 until the beginning of 1939, so a few years when uh, 
was as when I had it there, a union of the alumni of Alliance were enough for him to prove to everyone who was looking for his extraordinary talents in management of the voluntary organizations, balancing off of um, programs and the execution while sharing with his members of the leadership of the organization all the programs. His amazing capability of work is the industrialist and he is the concern of the promotion of the Jewish youth, especially of the underprivileged one that were majority of the Jewish population in Casablanca. And we're bringing here testimonies of two leaders that knew well, Moses Banatani were well aware of his personality and his endeavor based on their common work together. The first one I would like to bring his testimony that has been mentioned already was Shmuel David Levy <coughs> on his French short name, S. de Levy. And for me, he was in fact uh, the known crowned leader of uh, Jewish Moroccan community in the 20th century. He was the um, uncrowned leader. He was the spokesperson, the most gifted one in town, is one of the Moroccan Jewish community in Morocco and inside of it. It's been said, he said those um, words in the forum of the heads of the alumni of the Alliance that took place in the Fes during Passover on 1939, three months after his death. After S. De Levy, there was an ORA president of the forum of all of those uh, unions and alumni. He said, gentlemen, before I will begin describing our activities, my duty is to bring up here the memory of the colleague that has been taken uh, away from us early a few months ago and remained us all shocked and mourning. Moses Benatar, who was the chairman, a distinguished chairman of the Union of Casablanca, was indeed the member of the Federal uh, Committee of ours. He contributed to this organization of the annual gatherings of us. His dedication, his understanding, his methodology, and the thorough attention to all of the details, which was typical of his personality and the guarantee of his success. You had an ability to see how he worked and operated here in 1935 and to make sure with what enthusiasm and authority he presented his opinions and which enthusiasm he defended his opinions. Moses Mandatar was um, an exemplary laborer in order to increase the pride of Jews in this land, Morocco, and he proved that with an unequivocal success. And a um, few months before his death, when he was a member of the community of the communities, left a tremendous impression the eulogy uh, of Ruben Tajuri at the funeral of uh, Moses Benatar. Um, he was the principal of uh, the Ally Alliance School in Casablanca. He reminded the union of the alumni of Casablanca that worked together with uh, Moses Benatar. A year afterwards, Ruben Tajuri was appointed to this uh, grand role as representative of uh, the school in Morocco. And that's what he said. I will not prolong the description of all the descriptions of his activities, the organizations of gatherings uh, of Benzatar, all this expanded and the grandiose program of the union uh, interested him in the same extent. He delivered himself completely to those programs with the same dedication, the same concern, and the same stubbornness. The endeavor of the professional training, the evening scholarships, uh, Hebrew learning, and the renting of the various external institutions entertainment and sports, the financial situation, recruitment of various uh, workshops for the training of uneducated Jews, everything preoccupied him, not in order to develop theories that were pointless, but as someone who worked close to reality, as a technician who made sure to instruct, to build instructions and to execute those instructions in a practical manner with the positive outcomes. In this spirit and with determination, <coughs> he fulfilled those missions with full dedication one after another. He brought to our union a sense of emergency and urgency and managed to promote this union and the reputation of organization under his influence. His successful attempt as a head of the alumni organization brought the Jewish committee in Casablanca to invite him to serve as an unofficial advisor of the Committee of the Communities of uh, Welfare of this uh, communal organization. Uh, all the meetings he participated in and the material that he read, he understood and assessed the distress of the so many of the poor of the community and the distress of the organizations of independent uh, communities that failed to handle the problem of poverty and, uh, and the hygienic conditions, the housing in the poor neighborhoods and um, 
in endless stream of immigrants that arrived from all over Morocco and the um, Jewish beggars that were um, begging in the streets. He was shocked by the situation and that he witnessed and decided to prepare a prodigal program, not just in order to change the face of the community organizations, but to offer ways of handling of those very painful social matters that the committee was addressing. He provided uh, solutions to those problems, among them panhandling. He considered the stressful uh, political situations and uh, that was the head of the committee, the committee of the community, since 1923. Though served at the same time from 1919 as the supervisor of the Jewish Institutes in Morocco on behalf of the protectorate of the French government. This anomaly is well drawn attention of Moses Benatar, and he asked to end such an anomaly. How can you be a supervisor and a supervisor as well, though at the same time Zaguri finished his uh, term that year as a supervisor of the Jewish Institute since he reached the age of retirement? In order to reason and understand the reform program, Moses Benatar wrote in the opening of his program, the conditions of majority of the Jewish population in Casablanca is tragic. The to reach the unprecedented and concerning scope. As a result of the minimal defense that the community organizations of now offer this community, this phenomena is expanding. Our committee does not comply with its mission. It did its best in order to handle the disease, but not in order to attack the causes of such a situation. Our very modest plan, it wasn't that modest, does not aspire and pretend to provide unknown solutions, but it settles down with the description of the existing situation while everyone considers them as proper and reasonable. So, as his program, he suggested this an actual revolution and under the affliction of poverty in the ways of thinking of the community and building the work plan in order to handle in a rational manner with the increasing problems of the Jewish community in order to improve the masses that were sinking into poverty on an everyday basis. His suggestions were targeting for different fields. First of all, changes in the organizational structure of the communities the changes in the role of the organization and to increase the various resources, improvement of economic status of uh, the needy through creation of job opportunities. And I will detail right now how he described um, the program, what one has to do in order to change uh, from the very foundation of the state of affairs. Change of the organizational structure, increase of number of uh, committee members into 20 because of growth of Jewish population, the complexity of the problems that one has to address. Uh, admittance of Jews that don't have the Moroccan citizenship and have a foreign citizenship. As members of the committee, in comparison to the percentage in the Jewish community and after staying five years in this plan, uh, later on the French were afraid that Jews, uh, foreign Jews, will arrive because they're bringing Zionist and communist ideologies to the local Jewish community that is non-ideological at all. And that's why they prohibited completely to introduce French or foreign citizens into committees of the communities. Elections. A general assembly that will be maintained in order to elect the candidates that will be approved by the main vizier. As has been described in the regulations on 18 of May 18, uh, 1918. But those who are electing the candidates today is a supervisor of the Jewish Institutes. Instead of being elected by the members of the committee, they're being appointed. Another chapter, the separation between various roles of the supervisor and the institutes and the chairman uh, of the committee of the communities in Casablanca. And reorganization of work of the offices, new and modern offices that comply with our needs are necessary. Look where he aspired to arrive. Creation of a new committee, of a new committee that um, Commission de Vigilance, with um, the Vigilance Committee, what will be its role? 
when there is a new problem that emerges so there is an, um, some kind of um, a problem that rises the commitment of the youth towards the Sultan and reinforcement of identification with France to prepare the youth for volunteering into French military and uh, reciprocal relations between the Muslims and the Jews. In addition, we need to recruit legal advisors uh, volunteering to help the big public of those in need and social workers, such as, for example, the committee should bring to cooperation between different Jewish organizations that are active in Casablanca and the coordination of the activity for the benefit of the outcome, for the benefit of the community. It's not a cosmetic change. It's an actual revolution. <clears throat> and this is uh, a revolution that you will probably see in 1939. In 1938, in fact, he passed away on 11th of January of 39. And that's what he wrote, in fact, during the last weeks of his life, in the end of 1938, uh, he envisioned a living entity and not a um, petrified committee as French dictated to various communities where they appointed those uh, the own loyalists of the French regime. A changes in the function of the organization and the main mission and help to the poor. The work of the committee should be divided into different fields. First of all, uh, providing remedy to the poor, management of various Jewish sacred signs and Jewish rituals. Those two words that describe the role, statutory role of Jewish communities. That, until the end of the protocol, that was their idea to address the sacred places and rituals and to help the poor. But they did not bring to us no any outcome, and therefore he wishes that the committee will be providing an affordable housing to create a cooperatives of from various artisans to create a school for homemates and to develop cultural studies uh, for school children as any responsible entity towards its community has to do limitation of the aid and assistance to the poor. We need to limit the cash aid to the poor, which actually was the main role of the community, and to exchange, replace it with provision of housing to those in need. Creation of uh, soup kitchens for a uh, warm meal, um, provision of um, hospitalization, medical aid, the prevention of TB spread, uh, elderly care homes and homes and uh, housing. One should find the solutions of replacement of them poverty shacks with the proper but attainable household um, hygiene. We need to promote the hygiene in the households, uh, uh, take care of the lice treatment, which is until today quite an epidemic, and to create a bathhouses free of charge education. Um, the committee should be teach, teaching, uh, teaching of Hebrew and other professions to increase the number of schools for the children that are not being admitted for studies in existing schools. And the half of the children of Casablanca did not attend schools in all the communities, not just in Jewish ones. They did not go to Alliance. Why? Because um, they could not pay the tuition that was required of those who were studying Alliance. Allegedly, there were no, not enough of classrooms. But um, the French intentionally did not want, did not want the kids, all of them, to study since they always compared it will allow the Jews 100% of uh, the, the Muslims will ask as well because why the Jews are getting it and we don't and they constantly mention this particular scarecrow of the Muslims what about the Muslims what the Muslims will say but this was the policy that was the purpose, to reduce the number of educated Jews out of the community where everyone, so only the French settlers will have an education. That was the purpose of the prevention of access to education to them, indigenous people. 
and the natives. That was the end, a very typical behavior of the end of the production art, and that would actually happen. The limitation of supervision and ex no, ex first of all, improvement of social and economical um, conditions of the needy through creation of job uh, opportunities. We need to increase um, the convalescence plan of the community. This is a rehabilitation plan, and I'm quoting, that will gradually improve the social level of the community and will reduce the number of those who use the committee for aid. We need to teach them professions that are necessary. We need to create and manage the cooperatives of various artisans and to send them to agricultural works with support of the authorities according to the existing laws to make sure and to train them for agricultural work and artisanal uh, crafts. We need to create um, a school for housekeeping in order to work in hotels and uh, households. Four, to increase the resources of the committee, and supervision on the revenue and increase of revenue from the taxes of the committee, of the community, I'm sorry, that exists. That is a massive bread, uh, synagogues, uh, wine and meat. Limitation of expenses as much as possible, division and distribution, the distribution of cash for the needy families should be supervised um, closely, those who are needed for the holidays. Expenses during the support of, for support of uh, sick and ill, limitation of um, loans, um, that is different. It's not the bank account. This is actually, this is not about the bank here, what he's talking about. This is the term of that period of time. He's trying to describe the poor ones that came at the migrant workers that came for short periods of time for Casablanca and they returned after they gathered a little bit of money. And. Uh, <coughs> They didn't have banks then. And option prevention of beggars arriving to Casablanca. Imposing taxes on documents that issued to the members of the community was for free. Documentation of the civil status signed by notary, various arrangements of uh, burial, the sale of burial places, and imposing. Uh, there was a tax imposed on wine, but there was no uh, mahia. There was a tax on mahia, and mahia. Um, they didn't drink wine. They drink wine from uh, bottles, but mahia they did drink is it from the jars? Mahia from the jar, Machia, they used to drink Machia from the drunk, and this is Arak, this is a spirit, local spirit, manufactured at home, and moonshine. So that actually in Arabic and Moroccan uh, dialect, it's Mashia, Mashia Deino, handmade, made at home, in fact. So one should also tax 25% of the income and revenue of the synagogues based on the approval that is granted from 27 of uh, 1997 and to uh, look into opportunity. Look how distant he what a visionary he was, a tax of all the members of the community through addition of a few cents to the local municipal tax. All the Jews pay the tax to the municipality, and we would like to ask the municipality to take another five cents in order to allocate them for the needs of the community. He models the entire program. The summarization of his program was as Benatari added that the expenses that were submitted and those ideas are not a final plan. This is just a contribution to the general plan that the organization will be rebuilding. This program was supposed to be built together with the many different stakeholders um, that were benevolent and what was the fate of this revolution? His sudden death completely disrupted all the steps that would have been bring it to the discussion at the committee of the communities and among different uh, Jewish circles in the community and outside of it. In fact, this program, as it has been uh, presented, was implemented, and he didn't have enough time to edit it. It was his uh, wife, Nelly. She added this uh, program with a uh, very important eulogy and the moving eulogy that was said at the funeral of her husband and the various memorial services, and printed a brochure, a thousand copies. Though, in order to disseminate such a brochure, she needed an approval of the protectorate regime, government authorities. One was not allowed to publish something without the approval of the authorities. 
She sent the copy of this brochure to the explanatory service of the commission approved that was granting the approvals and asked the approval to disseminate it for free among the Jews of the city. On the 5th of December 1939, the civil chief supervisor, the mayor of Casablanca, um, I turned to the um, director of the political department at the protectorate uh, government and asked for his opinion whether he's allowed to grant such an approval to this brochure or not. On 16th of December, 10 days later, the director answered, and I quote, one should um, avoid dissemination of such a brochure, I think it's unworthy, and one should refuse granting the approval that is in question. Well, unnecessary, it's redundant to mention, of course, who, what was the reason of such a refuse? As a part of the presenting it as a reform organization, this program, in fact, wanted to turn the community into a political and social entity that was autonomous, a status that the protectorate uh, representatives and the Supreme Commissioner, Resident General, the first one, and the founder of the protectorate in Morocco, and Marshal Berliotti, uh, wanted to negate uh, from the Jewish communities of Morocco and uh, leave them subjected to Sultan and their members as the serfs of the sultan. And it seems that that was the end of this revolutionary program. But um, the program returned to become uh, relevant, though non-officially, in 1944. The Supreme Commissioner, the new Gavril Pur, and that was appointed in July of 1943, instead General Charles de Gaz, that has been mentioned before, who was um, the Supreme Commander, military commander until uh, July 1943, that was removed from his position because of corroboration with the Vichy government. Uh, so the new commissioner, the pure, the new commissioner wanted to compensate to a certain extent the Jews of Morocco for the injustices that were caused to them under Vichy regime and uh, uh, Commissioner Nogues regime, his general Nogues. So he wanted the um, sheriff who was appointed in the protectorate to submit a program of changes of the various committees of the community. Um, it was an 18. They wanted to change the program of the past for more than 30 years. While well, taking into consideration the aspirations of Jewish communities, Lobel Lamer, the advisor for sheriffs, um, put a um, position paper and sent it to the political department. Uh, it was one of the strongest representatives of protectorate, and Monsieur Boniface that approved it and ratified that. Such a program has been sent to the heads of the districts of the government for their review and their criticism. In the end of the consultation, the Supreme Commissioner sat as the head of the finalizing meeting that said the final wording and draft of this change plan. But the committee is not just increasing the number of the members of the committee from 10 to 20, as um, the Moses wants to do, according to the size of the Jewish population and the encouragement of the entry of the youth into the committee, no new reforms were introduced, no possibility of choosing uh, Jews from uh, foreign citizenships or subjects of foreign countries that live for many years in Morocco, since due to fear of uh, ideology and politicization of Moroccan Jewry. That was a great disappointment for the Jewish community in the new program, though. It's an important change that they didn't pay attention to. Uh, the auditors of the reform did not see it. It was almost hiddenly introduced into the final draft. It has been allowed for the first time to um, maintain and organize gatherings between different communities, which allows the most important reforms that were basically um, Sneaked, sneaked stealthily into this program, and that changed the status of the Moroccan jury the way uh, Moses dreamt of. From the isolated and segregated communities into communities with a sense of belonging to the one umbrella organization that unites them. And it, 
the expressions were the gatherings of different committees with the general secretary of the gatherings on an annual level with three different committees gathering from a big cities of Morocco in order to maintain discussions on the matters of community. Thing unprecedented uh, could not be dreamt of. Secondly, creation of the rabbinical council, council of biggest communities in order to discuss various issues and to uh, write new uh, regulations due to the changes of uh, modern times. Uh, once in three years, they gather until 1954. Uh, establishment of the um, Beit Midrash in Rabat, the School Institute in Rabat. A general communal solution of a newspaper that was published, um, all the communities, the voice of the communities, the water community. Later on, there was a weekly program on Moroccan radio about the culture of Moroccan Jewry. Those are the seeds that he saw in his program that finally um, managed to germinate and bring uh, to fruition in the end of his, um, in the end of the war. The American representatives tried to change from the very beginning the status of the Jews of Morocco. Uh, people of vision and talent. Moses Ben Natal, um, his passion and his enthusiasm that he recruited uh, in order to rehabilitate the political and social status of Moroccan Jewry are worthy of being etched on the memorial of historical memory of Jews of Morocco. Thank you so much.